But this, I think, is a bigger picture topic. Dan Graziano, I have people at Fuels to Me that like, are saying constantly, the NFL is turning into the NBA with the way the stars are taking so much control over what happens in their careers and for their teams. Is that an accurate way of summing up the situation in football right now? Yeah, I think it's a simplified way of doing it, but it is accurate to some degree. Look, I mean, you have guys that have forced their way out of situations they didn't like via trade. You have, I mean, you have Deshaun Watson trying to do it now at the highest level in terms of a quarterback, but the more it happens, I mean, these guys watch the NBA and follow the NBA, and they say to themselves, why not? Why, if, if James Harden can do it, then, then why can't I? Uh, and, and so I think it will continue. The owners obviously hate it and, and, and hope that it doesn't continue down this path, but the players, especially the ones that are high profile and make a lot of money, feel like they have leverage uh, and they are right to an extent that their predecessors really never understood or at least uh, activated. Or, or at least never really had the leverage or clout or ability to do. I think that's an important part of this. And so that is why I really wanted to talk to Dominique about this, not only as a former player, but in your capacity having been the president of the NFL Players Association. I know how strongly you feel about players take, being able to take control of their situations. I get that part of it. But let's not deal in that. Let's deal in whether in the big picture it is good or bad for the sport that these sort of things happen. Can you remove the player's hat and answer that question yeah. independently? I mean, I obviously have some biases, and it's hard for me to remove those biases, but I'll do the best I can. I, I think that if the owners have a problem with it, it's because it puts pressure on them. And that pressure is only going to make them better. Like, I don't understand how the product gets worse if someone is holding you accountable. That's something that always makes things better. So if you're mad that your quarterback wants to leave or your star player wants to leave, don't look at them and call them disloyal or be upset about not being able to control it. Look at yourself and ask the question, why am I failing here? What about me is, is what about this place is so bad that I can pay this person hundreds of millions of dollars and they're like, know what? Keep it. I need to get out of here. So that's the first way that it makes it better. <laughs> and the other way that I think that it makes it better is something that you brought up, Greeny. This is not basketball. Basketball is positionless in a way that it allows you to stockpile superstars. There's only one quarterback. Nobody mm -hmm. is going to go be a backup quarterback because they want to play because Russell wants to play with Aaron Rodgers. Like, it'll never happen. And I think it adds to the intrigue of the offseason. It makes it exciting. And we saw something similar to that, I guess, take place down in Tampa Bay. When Tom Brady went there, the available stars, they weren't superstars, but the available stars that were out there wanted to go there. And who can say that what happened this year was bad for football, I think it's crazy. Right. The most important point I would agree with, it doesn't compromise competitive balance as it has in basketball, and that's a problem. RC, ultimately, is it good or bad for the sport? I think it's good. If you're a Los Angeles Rams fan, are you excited that you have Jalen Ramsey? If you're a Seattle Seahawks fan, are you excited that you have Jamal Adams? You absolutely are. And if you're the team that gets Deshaun Watson, are you not going to throw a party? And if you have somewhere to put a boat parade, do that as well. It, you absolutely are. Like, this game is now different, but it's not basketball. You know, basketball is like, hey, I'm AD. I'm tired of being in New Orleans. It ain't really for me. I want to go to L.A. You know, Jalen Ramsey's in a situation where he sat in front of people and they demeaned him and, and, and they made him feel inferior. Jamal Adams is in a situation in New York. Well, hell, Greeny, I ain't got to explain New York to you. You know exactly what it is. And then you look at Deshaun Watson and what he's dealing with with the Houston Texans. R Russell Wilson isn't saying that he wants to leave. He isn't saying that he's demanding anything. He just said, you know what, that dialogue would be nice. And I agree. There were countless times Coach Tomlin didn't necessarily include me in personnel decisions, but he said, hey, RC, when you were playing so-and-so, how did you feel about him? When you've watched this defensive player on film, is he a Pittsburgh Steeler? Is this a guy that you you'd like to play with. And I think that's all Russell Wilson is asking for. Ooh. Russell Westbrook has a saying, and it's, why not Russ? I think now Russell Wilson is saying, why not Russ? It's a very broke interesting... news right now. I didn't know that you were, you were a part-time GM while also being a superstar <laughs> safety. Oh, I didn't know that. Congratulations, Here's the Super Bowl one... champion executive. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.